Why don't we eat kidneys on Pesach? So kidneys is a very, very general concept. In kidneys goes in kidneys like different types of beans. Into kidneys also goes in the category of rice. Well, the Gemara already says in Maseches Psachim that the only thing that could become chametz are the five grains, the chamisha minei dogon. And rice is not one of them, even though Rabbi Yechon ben Nuri says that the oiras and doichan, that the rice and different types of rice is close and similar to the chamisha dganim, to the five types of grain, and therefore um, it seems on Rabbi Yechon ben Nuri that you have to be careful also on rice. Halacha, in fact, wasn't paskind like Rabbi Yechon ben Nuri, and most of the paskim, if we're talking about the Ran, we're talking about the Rambam, they don't paskin like Rabbi Yechon ben Nuri, and therefore Medino de Gemara from the Halacha, the basic halacha from the Gemara, you could have rice on Pesach. However, we do find from the Rishonim, and there's many of them that we, we find. For example, the Smak brings down the name of Rabbi Nuperet, the Korben Asana on the Rosh brings it down, the Minhagi Ma'aril brings it down, that the Minig among the Ashkenazim is not to eat kidneys on Pesach, not rice, and not any types of kidneys. There were three reasons that were brought down why don't we eat kidneys, three main reasons. And before I say the reasons, I want to bring out something very, very clear. Whenever there is a takana or a gzero of chazal, it wasn't that they just one, one morning just got up and said, okay, let's think what kind of gzero could we rest upon the yidin. Usually these gzeros, usually these takanas, were after, unfortunately, yidin and not one, fortunately many yidin, had made a mistake, and that's what caused that our sages, the Chachamim, had to put these extra boundaries. For an example, Mechitza. We spoke about this when it came to Mechitza. Mechitza, it says that on might say Sukkah, the Gemara says Masech Sukkah, they had to do and they had to put up in the Beis Amikdosh by the Simchas Beis Hashavah, they had to do a Tikkun Godl. Tikkun Godl means a big, big correction. It doesn't really say, at least not in the Mishnah, it doesn't say what was the correction. But it's obvious that if you have to put up a correction, it means that there was a problem that had to be corrected. If there was a tikkun gadol that had to be made, it means that there was a big problem that had to be corrected. So the same thing is here. Same thing is here. Whenever Chachamim, especially the Ashkenazi Chachamim, put the idea of kidneys, it's because these mistakes weren't just a theoretical mistake that could have happened. Unfortunately, it seems that it happened, and it happened much more than just once. So there's three main reasons that are brought down by kidneys. One reason by kidneys <clears throat> that's brought down is that the kidneys, when you cook them, it's called maisek dero, is very, very similar to things that are not supposed to be cooked on Pesach. For example, if you cook rice, you make like a kasha, you cook with a lot of, of, of liquid. Uh, when you cook it, the result looks very, very similar to if you cook oats, just regular oats, and you put it with a lot of water. If you look at the result in a pot, it could look very, very similar. And yes, it's based on the idea of marisain, that the maisek dero, the result that comes out of cooked rice and cooked oats, could be very, very similar. And it seems like mistakes were made, and that is called maisek dero. That's one reason why they were goyzer. Second reason is, out of kidneys, out of many types of rice or many types of beans, you could make flour out of it. And people could make a mistake and say, oh, I went to so-and-so, I went to the rabbi's house, I went to somebody that I know is a God-fearing Jew, and he was using flour on, on, on Pesach, and they won't understand that this flour is flour that was made out of, um, out of beans or out of rice, and not flour made out of the five grains. So these two reasons, the maizik data and the flour, are reasons that are more based on the idea of marisa, and that we're extra careful about it on Pesach, because we know on Pesach you have to be extra careful about, about not eating um, things that the whole year you eat, things that are not kosher Pesach. And therefore, the idea of maizik dero, the idea of flour that's similar to other types of flour, could actually make a mistake. The third reason is the idea that the kidneys, the types of beans, the dry beans especially, would usually, they used to be brought in big, big sacks, and these sacks didn't just contain in them just these specific beans. A lot of times these sacks were used, they were recycled, and they were used for bringing different types of grains. Some of them 
being grains that are not kosher pesach, like wheat, like barley, different types of grains. Or they would be using the same sacks, and then it would come to a situation that people would have rice, and in the rice they would find these specific grains mixed with it, or they would have, let's say, um, they would have uh, uh, different types of dry beans, and these dry beans would have in it all kinds of kernels of wheat or barley and similar. And that was the third reason for kitnis. Now, even today, most companies that are packaging companies, most um, companies that are packaging companies, are companies that have in there also, um, they don't just package rice, they don't just package beans, they also package different types of grains. And even today, you could even open um, packs of rice and you would find inside sometimes, unfortunately, mixed grains. The way to do it, even people that do eat kidneys, has to be very, very important to know, that even who does, people that do, that do eat kidneys on, on Pesach, have to check the kidneys very, very, very well. It's brought down in the Minhagim of the Sephardim, those that do eat kidneys, they have to check it at least three times before eating rice or before eating other kidneys. Now there are many other Minhagim in between. For example, there are some communities that will eat fresh kidneys, like fresh beans, um, sometimes they would have, um, they would have um, the, green, the green types of beans. You, sometimes you would have them have peas, green peas. That they would have, but not the dry, but not the dry kidneys. Um, it depends very much on the community. Some communities will be very lenient about make kidneys. Like they would have oil made out of soy. That's a kidney, but they won't have the actual kidneys because the xero was on the kidneys and not on the oil based on that shitta. Um, there are some communities that take it even stronger to the other direction. For example, if kidneys, if kidneys is something that looks like something similar to flour, they can make flour out of it. So there are some communities, Galicia, some Galician communities and others that will not eat even potatoes. Believe it or not, potatoes on Pesach they won't eat because you can make flour out of potatoes, and that's probably one of the reasons that on Pesach we're so careful. We only eat by um, our own house, based on our own minhagim, and we don't need by others because the minhagim are so different one from another. We respect each other the whole year. Also on Pesach, we respect for each other. But as brought down by Yom Yom, we don't um, eat by other people on Pesach just because so many differences about kidneys and the different types of kidneys and the way they cook the kidneys. And that's why the takana is a very important takana. It's a very strong zero. The Chassam Sefer writes that it's something we don't have the power, the ability, or the will to change because the Rishonim made this takana. But as we said, every single community has their way of celebrating and making Pesach that it should be a kosher Pesach, but it should also be a freilich Pesach.